Hi, my name is Ethel Blondin Andrew, and I'm from Norman Wells. Uh, most of you that know me, I lived here for 20 years, and you're probably going, the old gray mare ain't what she used to be, <laughs> hobbling up the stairs. Anyways, I'd like to say that uh, I've given much thought and uh, consideration about this speech. It's an important one. I um, was thinking about our country, Canada, and its various regions. As a country, we have so much to work with to better ourselves. We have the land, people, abundance of wildlife. We also have a deep sense of caring, a sense of fair play and right-mindedness that predominates on most fronts. But even then, we have so much to do and undo. On the land, we are so blessed. It is abundant, diverse in its splendor, the sheer expanse, the massive size. It is truly something to cherish and even protect. The people. Canada is its people. That means all of us. Sharing in this country for me, I am, I am touched by meeting new Canadians all the time. I am from the community of the original indigenous people of uh, our land and this country. Where I hail from, people have always been the most generous and giving. We have shared our land, our resources, our knowledge, and our innovation. However, we have not ever been truly recognized for that. Where I come from, we believe that the North and sought to have paid their dues. We have already presented the best economic case um, every time it has been needed. When Canada wanted something from the North, Canada came to the Sahtu. Firstly, discovery of oil in 1921 in what is now known as Norman Wells Oil Field and Treaty 11. The second point is Canada secures land through the settlement of 1921 Treaty 11. Uranium, thirdly, uranium was discovered on Great Bear Lake and shipped from the mine site across Great Bear Lake down to the Bear River and Mackenzie Rivers, eventually ending up in the Los Alamos Manhattan Project site as part of the war effort. Then, a fourth point. U.S. Army builds the canal oil pipeline from Norman Wells to Whitehorse as part of the war effort. Canada purchased one-third of Norman Wells' oil field and received hundreds of millions of dollars for, his own, for its ownership. Throughout all the strategic Canadian investments, the SATU has received minimal reciprocal infrastructure investment. To be a better country and um, uh, give us what others have and have taken for granted, like an appropriate and an essential infrastructure. Need I say the Mackenzie Valley Highway so everyone can afford to see us and we can also afford, we can also ensure that our people are afforded the best quality of education the best access to the outside world. We want to provide um, affordable and, and quality housing. We also want to be assured by the Government of Canada that food security includes, in, uh, from all levels of government, food security includes country foods, and that affordability is at the root of all the decisions that are made. We need to redefine this and we need to include that in that definition, country foods. We need to ensure that our people uh, get the best quality of education, as, as I said. And it needs to be known that the quality of education depends on what all of the players do. Indeed, it takes a village to raise a child. We cannot make the inheritance of the next generation as it was before, of broken homes, families, villages, individuals, and dreams. 
Hope should not belong just to the privileged. It should be within the reach of all of us. May our future generation not struggle and exist to no end, to be paralyzed in fear. May we as a community create hope where everyone plays a role, from the smallest, youngest, to the oldest and wisest, and maybe the weakest and most vulnerable. We all play a part where the world does not belong to just a few. It belongs to every one of us. When we have, for, when we have fought our biggest battles as leaders and as people in society, and we have waged our wars, and we have come to know our place in the world, we are then healing and reconciling. And then we as individuals can accept hope, freedom, and love. When we have wrestled down the scourge of poverty, and we, when we cease to carry forward the um, responsibility and the burden of proof about our fundamental rights, our history, our authorities and mandates to be self-determining and know that, and know then we can start using our own personal power. We will know we have achieved a better Canada for ourselves. That is how we desire a better country for all of us. I end by saying, may we never repeat the same mistakes over and over again and expect different results. May we never be, may there never be endless inquiries like the murdered and missing women, the martial inquiry, and most of all, may a child never be left to whimper and weep alone, afraid unloved, cold, and filled with self-doubt and self-loathing, as in residential schools. Then we can have a country that is better. This is a good country. We are a good people. And yes, we can do better. As, and I want to end by saying what an elder said. Daniel Sonfrere usually ends his speeches to our people, he's from Hay River Reserve, he usually says, Unda goga nezon keudati. And it's so profound. He would say, To the future, in the future, it looks good. Masicho.